What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Pawn Stash Griever here, bringing you guys not just a good old laugh at a 45 year old dad look, but also to talk about Record of Ragnarok is getting a season two! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of the naysayers, regardless of the negativity, regardless of the bozos and the dumb shits who just all they did was negativity and complain and yada yada yada. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Season 2 announcement. We are getting a Season 2. Thank Christ. You know why? Well, I mean, Christ is in this, so I mean, that, that's relevant. But thank Heracles, because Round 4 is a lot of people's favorite round. The uh, A couple of spoilers for Season 1, but not manga spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. But at the end of Season 1, we got the start of Round 4 which is a lot of people's favorite round. One of people's favorite round. It is Jack the Ripper versus Heracles. So for a lot of reasons that I won't go into because no spoilers past anything from season one, this is exciting. This is amazing. It's still my favorite fight in the entire series for a multitude of great reasons that I hope to be able to get into once uh, the season two. And if you guys are caught up with the manga, I was reviewing it back then. So you could definitely go check out the other videos, the reviews, the streams and stuff as that round was partaking because what a great round, what a great manga, what a great story. So I'm just really pumped. I'm just really excited. And it's not because I'm just starved for content because jumps on break and monthlies on break and everything's on break and I got nothing, <laughs> nothing uh, to talk about, but also just the fact that uh, I wanted to clear up some misconceptions. Because there was something going around on Twitter. I saw it on my Discord. I saw it on Miss Content's Discord. I saw it on Grim Reaper's Discord. I believe I even saw it on Naya's Discord, Naya D. Hemming's Discord, where there's this Twitter post going around saying that they showed. We, we have very little information about Season 2 other than it's confirmed. There will be a Season 2. That's basically all the information we get. Uh, apparently, it's also going to be done by the same studio. That has pissed a lot of people off, a lot of people on Reddit, you know, complaining, yada, 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 yada. You know, a lot of sweat lords, as my brother likes to call people that play, you know, sports games online and stuff. That What they do is all they're doing is nitpicking, all they're doing is complaining, of course. Because why? Because the studio did, honestly handled a pretty average product for the time restraints that they had. And now maybe they'll have a little more time to do it. We don't know. We won't know yet. But there is some misinformation out there. There's just one big key piece, and it's this Twitter post. Somebody posted the end shot from the last episode of Season 1 is the footage, is the preview footage of Season 2. Now, anybody who actually stayed around and didn't just watch the one little clip of the Zeus, what's called now the PowerPoint slideshow of Zeus versus Adam, the, the people with more than half a brain who actually watched the entire season would know that this is simply a clip from the last episode. It's it's from the last episode. It, there is no new footage. There is no new stuff. And everybody is starting to use this. And I've seen it on Reddit. So people are believing it. Because clearly a lot of people didn't watch the whole season. Or didn't bother to do any fact checking. And they actually did go on and decide to say, Hey, this is season 2 preview. It looks just as bad. It's still slideshowy. It's still this. It's still that. I'm like, well, nonetheless, it still looks pretty good. And number two is the fact that it's from season one. Go on Netflix right now. Go on Netflix and check. It's the end of season one. So, so completely misinformation. Just wanted to clear that up and also just tell you guys this is going to be a very short video. Uh, and and yeah, all right. Let's let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Little start for content. Been about ten days without anything really exciting, anything popping, anything like you know. I I've done a couple more streams just to sort of try to boost up some stuff, but honestly, I'm not in the mood to start like a big 40 minute discussion video. They, they take me a lot of time. Uh, so I've been working on scripts for a few of those things like the, uh, like the record of Ragnarok character discussion videos and stuff like that. I've been working on them, but honestly, a little bit of procrastination, a little bit of laziness has been settling in this past, this past week and not having anything to review or quickly talk about has also hurt the YouTube channel in that way. So what I just wanted to do today Let's just talk about my expectations for season two, okay? My expectations, and let me hear your guys' expectations down in the comment section down below. So, um, once again, very short video, but really, really quick. Just want to say, I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are excited, but I am excited. I think that season one was perfectly average, perfectly acceptable, couple of bad notes, couple of high notes. Let, let's just be real. 
And at the end of the day, if season one did as well as Netflix claimed, as the uh, as the budget claimed, and all that stuff claimed, maybe the studio will get a little more budget. They'll hire a few more animators, a couple more round the clock workers. Maybe they'll get a, a couple extra months to work on it. We don't know. We don't know what happens behind the closed doors, right? We don't know. So anybody complaining about the studio, the studio did a fantastic job trying to interpret some of the best art currently running in manga. Some of the best art. And it's very difficult to get that same level of detail across. But I'll tell you one thing, wasn't hard to find a thumbnail in a single episode for an episode review video. There was a lot of stellar goddamn, you know, stills. So all the shots looked beautiful. It's as best as I could have been expected from it, right? And then after that, what's the key thing that we want? We need a little more time and a little more animation. A little less slideshowy and a little more of that. But the soundtrack, I was happy with. The Japanese and English dub, completely fine. The voice cast, stellar, wouldn't change the goddamn one. And uh, that's really it. I, like everybody else, recognize the faults. Very little, uh, very, a lot of lazy animation, a lot of shortcut animation. Uh, and I sort of understand why, given, given the situation. But I was also a little disappointed in that. Let's, let's just talk about that for a second. So at the end of the day, what do we really need? We don't need the studio to change. The studio proved that they can do the art justice uh, and they can uh, paste it properly. They can build the hype. They can add, w once again, a key thing that I found out is Lu Bu versus Thor was my least favorite fight. Now, I think I like it better than a couple of other fights, easily, because of the anime. Not because I reread the manga, but because I watched the anime. The voice acting, the animation, and the soundtrack, the, the, the score, really boosted my opinion of that first round. So, I don't think the anime did as bad of a job as everybody thinks. Of course, you guys have seen my videos. But, in the same junction, yes. I think a little more animation. I think a little more. And don't expect Demon Slayer. Don't expect One Punch Man. Okay? Let's just get that out of the way. Stop expecting that. Look, One Piece had had some quite... Honestly, not great animation for years. Wano is really well animated, but a lot of arcs in One Piece were, eh. Like, go back and watch East Blue. Watch some of East Blue. Tell me that's stellar animation. Tell me you would accept that in today's. If, if East Blue, four kids East Blue, you know, the original, like, well, Funimation uses the same stuff, but Tell me you would take that and accept that as Record of Ragnarok and you'd be totally fine with it. You probably wouldn't. But it's okay. It's okay. And it's decent. So my only increase would be to ask a little more animation, a little more time devotion to said animation. Other than that, honestly, no, I'm, I'm not expecting Demon Slayer. I'm not expecting uh, Dragon Ball Broly. I'm not expecting this heavy level huge budget animation. I'm not expecting that. Okay? So, but what I am expecting is an improvement. I'm expecting the same OST, the same pacing, uh, the same level of quality of the voice actors in both, both the Japanese and the English. And the only thing that I want better is, like what a lot of people were complaining about, the animation. I want a little bit more of it, and I want it to be a little more fluid. That's all I want. You know, uh, so hopefully that's the case. These are the only details, the only confirmed details we know about season two. It's going to be done by the same studio, still going to be on Netflix, and it is confirmed we are getting one. Those are the only things that are actual facts at this junction, as far as I know. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you excited for season two? Are you going to be in a stick in the mud and just going to sit there and complain and whine and moan and complain like an ignorant child? Or are you going to be like your host griever the most with the porn stash as always and sit back and go, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. You know, because I want to see those stick in the mud people. Let's just say for a moment, let's just say that season two got Demon Slayer level animation. 
all those stick in the mud people will all of a sudden evaporate. You won't hear a goddamn word from them. Reddit, Twitter, Discord, you won't hear a goddamn lick out of these people. All you'll hear is praise. And you know what the problem with that is? That means that they only cared about one thing, and that was animation. They didn't care about quality. They didn't care about soundtrack. They didn't care about OST. They didn't care about anything. They didn't care about a single... They didn't care about casting. They are one-dimensional thinkers. And one thing does not make an anime. There are multiple things that make an anime. So, in my opinion, I'm hoping for better than season one. Uh, that's all I can hope for, but I'm also not expecting top tier. So if you are, let me know down in the comment section down below. What are you expecting? Are you going to watch it? Did you watch all of season one or did you drop it after so many episodes? Let me know what episode that was and what really broke you. Some people will say the Adam versus Zeus thing, right? Um, but I'm curious as to where your opinion is coming from. So let me know if you watched season one. Let me know what you thought of season one. Was it bad? Was it average? Was it okay? Was it good? Let me know what your thoughts on season one are and let me know, are you going to watch season two? And what are your expectations for season two? Are they bigger than they were for season one? Are they lesser now that we've seen season one? Let me know down in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, and subscribe as always because it's always very much appreciated. Don't forget to drink responsibly as always, as I always do. And we will see you guys back here again next time for more Record or Ragnarok content, also known as Shimatsu no Valkyrie. We'll see you back here next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Have a great weekend.